there, it's Mary from stampingmary.stampingup.net. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today's project features the Playing in the Rain bundle and I've also added in the envelope treat boxes. All these products are from Stamping Up. Now the envelope treat box comes flat like that. They are in a pack of 20. You won't find them in the mini catalogue. They were in our Christmas catalogue, but they are available online. And I have put a link to the product in the description bar below. I'll show you how to put it together. Super easy. And I'm using just the little um, umbrella images. This one here from the Playing in the Rain stamp set, as well as the dies that cut it out. Um, I just think it's so cute. And there is a sample in the catalogue um, done on a, of a card and it's sort of in a similar way and I just wanted to do something a little bit different. Made a little belly band and that's the little treat box there. Let's go ahead and do our stamping first and let everything dry before um, I make the box because we're going to be doing a little bit of water colouring. So what I found was great about doing this project was the fact that I was able to use lots of um, scraps of uh, like watercolour paper and shimmer paper so um, I have a piece of shimmer paper here already cut out I've cut out a stitched shape die and it's in a shimmer paper from some of the scraps and I've got my just a scrap of watercolour paper which I'm going to use to stamp um, the on um, the uh, umbrellas so let's do our watercolouring first on this piece of shimmer paper so I'm just going to bring in my balmy blue ink and squeeze a little bit of ink on there and just do a very quick watercolour wash on the background there. Nothing, nothing too much. Where's my water painter? Here it is here. Just getting a little bit of water pop down. So a little bit of water on. However you do, this is up to you. I usually start with a little bit of water. Just pop a little bit of water down here. Oops and then grab a little bit of my ink and then drop some again it doesn't matter whatever you like however you like obviously you can um it's easier to do it on a piece of paper before you cut it out with your die cut we've got a little bit more it's a bit easier but it's okay i'd already gone ahead and cut it out so just a quick little watercolor wash nothing fancy just maybe a little bit darker in the spots if you want to a little bit of extra color in there right so we'll set that aside to dry that was the balmy blue just cleaning off my brush my watercolor water painter pop that over there all right and let's um bring in the stamp i'm using stays on because we're going to watercolor these envelopes and if you want to do water oh, these are keep calling them envelopes umbrellas so um stays on ink for water coloring always always stays on so as i said i've just used a scrap of my watercolor paper and that's one of the things i really like about this project is i can just use my ends my bits and bobs you know the bits you don't want to throw away i'm using flirty, flirty flamingo to color this color these in and again and pick up a little bit of color squeeze a bit of water on squeeze a bit down and again this is one of those projects where if you want them a bit darker put more down if you want them a bit lighter go lighter <laughs> um, these are super cute uh, these would look great too if you um, used versamark heat embossed with your black embossing powder and then watercolored as well um, they would look really good because you'd have that lovely glossy raised edge of the black embossing powder I didn't I think to do that <laughs> but well, they would look great but either way it's fun and I like the pop of color from the um, fruity flamingo all right let's pop them across to dry And let's now go ahead and put this box together while our watercolour is drying. So I've cut a piece of the designer series paper which comes from this um, Rain or Shine Suite. This paper is beautiful. This is one side of the paper. 
a flirty flamingo with sort of a watercolour wash and then it's got that beautiful um, shimmery um, balmy blues and smoky slates that are colouring on the back. One of my favourite ones is this one here, got that flirty flamingo with the stripe through it and then when you flip it over it's got these amazing foil foiled images which you can die cut um, from the dies in this set. It's really really pretty really pretty i i just can't better cut into that one yet just haven't got haven't got to that one yet anyway let's put our envelope treat box together like i said super easy grab your bone folder now you do need to give these a good burnish on all the folds make it easier to go together These will be great for Easter treats uh, because you don't have, it takes, there's no glue required <laughs> because the um, tape is already attached. So if you've seen any of my other videos, you know I like boxes that go together with tape attached. <clears throat> Just grab tape, pop that tape off. And they're really sturdy too. These boxes are really sturdy. So you get some nice little treats in there. Okay. All right, so there's tape on the end of each of those. Just fold each of the corners up like that, like so. Same with that one. Couldn't really be any easier, could it, than that one? one now this these pieces clip in together like that I might just I might not have got that one quite straight enough yeah I'll just see if I can it's pretty securely stuck on there I might not be able to I might not have just got that edge up quite very gently see if I can get that a bit straighter I have found that you do need to get the edges pretty well yeah, very nicely um, lined up then it sits together perfectly oh, hook that in hook those in and then there's a little slit in the top here for that to go in like that like so oops <laughs> right there you go now with this one here I actually hooked it across the top. I'm not sure. I think I might have got it wrong there. And I used one of the little seals that go in the set. I've got them here somewhere. Here they are. These cute little gold seal. So that would go on the top there. I'm not going to put one on right now, but they just peel off. Self-adhesive stickers. So my belly, my um my band is just going to come around here like this. And then fold. And secure and then I just like to squeeze in the edges squeeze those sides in a little bit grab my bone folder and then um, make them nice and crisp so they it sits around the box easily Grab some tape, oops, <laughs> come on tape, there we go, squeeze that down, making it nice and firm but not so tight that you can't get that off. There we go, and this is almost dry. It's dry enough for us. I have actually already um, die cut three more of these little ones. These, these ones are a little bit darker. So I'm just going to pop them on with, I've got some mini dimensionals on the back. 
and put him on there. Um, it's a really easy little um, gift treat to put together as well. That one upside down. Like I said, I got my idea, my inspiration from <clears throat> images in the catalog, which is always a good way, I think, to use them because that's what they're for. They are for you to spark your interest. This is not quite dry, that's why these are not sticking. Let's give it another couple of minutes, hey? I've gone ahead also and on, um, this is Petal Pink, I've stamped with um, Flirty Flamingo already and bring in the black um, baker's twine and I'm just going to get that ready while I'm waiting for that watercolouring to dry. I might have to go and get my heat tool I think to dry that off because... Doesn't want to dry today on its own. Don't use the black baker's twine very often. It's ready to go on in a minute. I think that's ready. I think they're ready. Let's put them on. Let's take the backings off these mini dimensionals. And this one. Now, one of my favourite things in this Rain or Shine suite is these adorable, adorable, adorable loose daisy embellishments. Now, they don't have adhesive on the back of them, which is a bit sad, but they are so cute. So, the easiest way I've found to put these on is to grab your silicone sheet. I'm just going to put a little bit of um, my Tombow on there. And with your... Take your pick tool, the end that has the, um, the tack in the end of it. You can just pick one out and then pick a couple out because I want a couple. Pick one out and I use that tack end and then a little bit of Tombow on here. And then I can easily pop them in. And then I, that, that way there's not, um, it's not oozing um, Tombow. So you just can get just enough just by just a little bit of a dab in there. Just pop another one there. Or a yellow one. I think it's I think this daffodil delight actually. <laughs> one there. And let's get one more on here. And should we put the other one, a white one? And that one there I can put just in the middle. There you go. See this? Easy, easy peasy. Yeah, the only thing these are missing is the self adhesive on the back, but that's so cute. That's so cute. Great for shaker cards. So they are part of that um, rain or shine suite of products. Oops. I've got a couple, let's pop them out of the way. And then on the back of um, this, I'm just going to put some dimensionals. And we're nearly done. Is that enough to secure it down? Yes. Oh my gosh. I'm having adhesive issues today, aren't I? Anyway. I 
put it there. And what to secure this, I've just popped it in with a couple of, I think I used mini dimensionals, did I? Yep, just in there. So I'll we'll just use a normal size dimensional because I think it will work okay. Pop that in there. Rainy days are better with you. Rainy days are not great, but hey. This is a great stamp set. This is a great suite. So like I said, I've popped a link in the description bar below. So if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact me, stampymary at gmail.com. I hope you enjoyed that video. I hope you give these a go. They really, It really is a fun suite to work with and that's an easy project to put together. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Bye.